Hello everybody, Tyron Cannon here and welcome back to another episode of my Cricket Captain 2022 The Completionist Series. Here we are, what am I trying to say? We're in the Pakistan Cup with six games in, we haven't lost yet. Uh, we're doing very nicely. We're going to play up against Northern today who are in sixth place. Um, is that last place? It is last place. They haven't won a game yet. So you would think we'd be a good chance to win here. But you know, crazy things happen in Cricket Captain sometimes. Uh, again, we're going to go unchanged. Um, there's no real need to play around with the squad at this point. We're doing well. Um, so as I said, we're going to go unchanged. I'm actually going to bump Kadir up the order. But... That's just a change in the batting order. Nobody's actually coming in or out. Um, so let's uh, get into the cricket today. Quick and easy, hopefully, this match will be. Uh, pitch looks good for batting and bowling. Looks pretty even. We'll call heads on the toss, see what happens. Um, you know what? We haven't bowled first in a little while, so I'm going to bowl first today. Um, as I said, the pitch looks fairly balanced, so I don't believe there's a wrong choice. Um, but in saying that, that could come back to haunt me um, if things go completely wrong. Um, I hope you guys are all having a lovely day today. Uh, I'm just tinkering around with the fields um, before we get started. And uh, let's get into some cricket. We're five overs in. This is the fifth over. Catch that. First wicket's in the books. Bashir picks up Armin. He goes out for nine. Shahidala is now in. Doesn't have a first name, just Shahid Allah. Um, has played some international cricket in the last couple of years. Averages 51 at first class level, so um, looks to be Afghanistan's international player of the future alongside Rashid Khan. So, But I can't say I've heard of him before. I've got a little bit of a block nose, so if I do sniff at any point, I do apologise. An example of that, I just sneezed and had to block the uh, the microphone out. So I do apologize for that. Um, but let's um, continue on here. Bashir to Ali. That looks very close. Uh, it's been given. So two early wickets. Very good. That is absolutely plum as well. So Bashir's picked up two quick ones. Good to see. That brings Ali to the crease. Saad Ali. Played a couple of one days for Pakistan, but other than that, not too, not a career of note, I would say. That might be me being a bit harsh, but that's okay. Um, I, I do have high expectations for my players and the players around me, so we're going to bring in... I'm actually going to bring in Aslam really early. Um, I feel like that's a good decision. We'll go with Kadir up the other end. We'll just see how that plays out. We've got Kadir bowling to Ali. Ooh, that's spun a long way. Pitched outside leg, um, pitched outside off, sorry, and just missed leg stump, so that has spun a long way. Aslam to Shahid Allah. There we go, he picks up the wicket. The golden arm of Aslam picks up another wicket. He has been the golden arm for most of this series, actually, in um, all formats, but especially the one days, he's been really good. Is there a little under edge on that one? No under edge. Okay, we're going to keep going with these two. They seem to be keeping the runs at bay. Oh, it's just missed first slip. Um, that is well bowled by Kadir. That over was a little bit expensive, but it wasn't too bad. Aslam to Ali now. I thought the game froze for a second there. Um, picks up a second wicket. Ali goes for 43. Caught um, in the same fashion as Shahi Dalla was. Caught by Shazad at slip. So, um, anyway, two new batsmen, relatively new batsmen at the crease now. Um, let's go with Safi and Azam now. We generally do bowl six um, bowlers and then whoever's the best of the five, the best of the six, sorry. Um, gets to bowl the 10 overs. So Azam picks up Imran now. I was just talking over the top of the wicket there. Um, 5 for 113 is the score. Um, so we're not doing too badly at the moment. Safi's been expensive in his first two overs, but we're going to give him his five overs. Give him, give him his time as much as I do the other bowlers. Keep it fair. Um, yeah, because I don't like to... I think having short spells as another wicket. 
Um, Ali goes for 39. Having short spells of like two or three overs isn't really an indicator of how well the bowler is bowling. Uh, in T20s, it's a bit different because you've only got four overs to bowl. Um, but if you can give a player five overs in a one day, and if they're going at under five runs and over, or about five runs and over, you can probably bowl them another couple of overs. But if they're going north of six or seven, that way you know to take them out. Safi picks up another wicket. Imran has to go for 22. Seven for 187. Looks like it was a good decision to bowl first. Um, Bashir's bowled his 10. Safi's bowled his 10. I think we go Kadir and Aslam to bowl the final 10. I think that's the way to go. Kadir to Khan now. Seven for 216. Catch that is straight up in the air. The bowler's going to get there. Another wicket. Khan goes for 35. I think there's something happening in the kitchen. There's a little bit of noise in the background. My uh, recording studio is not that far away from the kitchen, unfortunately. So, and it's a drop catch. Who dropped that? Wasim Allahi dropped it. Okay. That was unfortunate. 8 for 226 now. Kadir to Anwar. That's a wicket. So, Kadir's got two now. Can Aslan pick up another wicket, or is it going to be Kadir? Ooh, play and miss. Three overs to go. Final over. Here we go. Nine for 252. There's a little edge. Five balls to go in the innings. That looks very close. It's been given. Nawaz goes to 37. So the tail has wagged a little bit there. We did have them at seven for about 170, I think. Seven for 187. So the, the tail has definitely wagged, um, which has helped out their cause a fair bit. So, um, but that, well, well done by Northern to get 253, um, considering at the point that they were. Uh, but we'll go around the grounds now. Baluchistan got 333 for eight in their first innings up against Southern Punjab. And Sin got 307 for 9 after their 50 overs up against Kaiba. And in the one day international, Australia 334, sorry, 334 for 7. Uh, Travis had got 151 up against South Africa. South Africa yet to bat, of course. So we'll figure out, figure out the end of that match uh, once we have batted. So, uh, but I think we're going to start fairly neutral in terms of our aggression and then just build our way up. Because we only need five runs and over, so we don't need to go absolutely bonkers from ball one. Shazar's done a play and miss there. I might just put my fan on. It's a little bit, a little bit hot today. I am wearing a onesie, oddly enough. So that probably doesn't help. But it was cold last night and I slept in my onesie, so. That's a good shot by Aslam. And it's a misfield, so. First boundary of the innings. It comes off a misfield, but that's okay. We'll take them however we can get them. Shazad has to go, unfortunately. Can't back up his uh, efforts from last episode. Got 168 not out. Has to go for two, unfortunately. That brings Omar Bashir to the crease. Aslam just runs that down to third man. That's a really nice shot. That'll go for four. Imran to Aslam now. Another good pull shot from Aslam. He's in some really good form at the moment. He just hasn't been able to make a really big score. He gets off to these really good starts, gets 20, 30, or 40. Bashir never really got into his innings today. He has to go for one. That brings Wasim Alahi to the crease. Um, let's flick that over. My phone got an email and I was looking at it, so probably not the best thing for me to do while I'm recording a video. Aslam has to go for 26, so we've lost three early wickets. Might just drop the aggression back a little bit. It's going to be really embarrassing if we lose this one to last place. But hopefully we can dig ourselves out of this hole that we've created. Um, we've got the Alahi brothers in. Generally good things happen when they bat together. Um, oh, that keeper's let that through to the boundary. That'll be four buyers. As I said before, we'll take the runs however we can get them. So uh, That's a good shot. I'm not sure which Alahi brother it was, but it was a really nice shot. There's another one as well through um, through square leg, just forward of square leg. 
cut shot. Done along the turf as well. That was really nice. Food restrictions have now ended. We're going at about six and over. So going above the run rate, which isn't necessary. Um, but we have lost three wickets. So I'd say the game's fairly even at this point. Because um, if we lose another couple of wickets, we're probably going to be in trouble. But if we keep going at the rate we're going and we're not losing any wickets, we should be fine. Um, so I'm just going to leave the aggression as to where it is. We're only projected to go at about six runs and over. Um, which isn't too fast. Normally I do set the aggression for seven or eight and we generally go about seven and a half. Uh, the projected aggression is at 5.2. So we're even below normal, so. But we should be fine. Three for 95 now. Usman to Alahi. That's a good shot. That's a really nice shot. Um, I did say that normally when the Alahi brothers bat together, the good things happen, but neither of them have really made a big score recently. Um, once Alahi made that big 171, um, but since then he's got a duck 34 and 19. So it's sort of been a mixed bag. And we we'll look at Riyad Alahi. Again, he made 66 a couple of innings ago, but it's been a long while since he's made 100. He made 100 at T20 level, um, going back a little bit, but it's been a long time since uh, since that's happened. So hopefully we can... Uh, I don't think we've got enough time for both of them to make 100s or enough um, runs left in the innings. If we were batting for a full 50 overs, you know, we could definitely go for it. Um, but it remains to be seen. We'll see how we go. But ideally, I'd like to not lose any more wickets and just get there with seven wickets to spare. But realistically, that's probably not going to happen. That's well fielded in the deep. Uh, Central Punjab, 126 for three now. Play and miss by Alahi. Nawaz bowling very nicely in this over so far. And as soon as I say that, he concedes a boundary, but we will take it. I am definitely not going to complain about that kind of thing. Lofted drive, that's gone for four. That's another good shot. That's really nice. That's four. <clears throat> Excuse me, three boundaries in a row. Wasim Alahi's reached his 50. So he's on 60 or 53. 62 or 53, I should say. It's another good shot. Not even gonna bother running for that one. Where's my voice gone? I need some tea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, my voice is a little bit weak at the moment. I recorded a whole bunch of videos yesterday in the last couple of days. That ball's gone for six. Uh, Riyad Lahi hasn't yet made his 50, but he's taking his time. He's only got a strike rate of 70. Um, but yeah, my voice is a little bit weak because I've been recording so many videos in the last couple of days. And because I took two weeks off, my voice really isn't conditioned at the moment to be... Uh, com commentating a lot um, but hopefully uh, my uh, conditioning for my voice will come back fairly soon so I do apologize if there's like a reduced a uh, quality in my voice um, but it should be fine in a couple of weeks time it's another good shot by Alahi that finally gets his 50 Riyad Alahi been a little while since he's made 50 um, and that, it's actually only been two innings, but um, if he can get a not out 50 here, that will do wonders for his average. We only need 80 runs to win. So it is actually possible for both batsmen to get their hundreds. That's a good shot, but we sort of need Riyad Alahi to take the initiative with the strike because there's a few runs behind Wasim Alahi, which he's starting to do now, which is a good sign. So that he's closed the gap both over 70 now that's a good shot I wonder what the partnership is worth we were 3 for 34 I think so that'd be like 160 the partnership would be worth I will check now because I'm curious yeah 166 so definitely a match saving partnership because um, we were in a little bit of trouble um, at, at the beginning of the innings um, 
Wasim Miller, he's made a fastest hundred. Congratulations to him. I think that's his first, no, his second one day hundred. We forgot about his 171 that he got. Um, but another one day hundred for him. Congratulations. Hasn't yet made a first class hundred. So that'll be a project for next season, assuming that we're still in charge of uh, Central Punjab uh, next season. But that, as I said, will remains to be seen. That's a good shot. I might, what I'll do, I might strike Hog with Riyad Alahi here, just so I can get him to get his 100. Or do I just get them to play naturally, just to not screw anything around? How many overs got? We got 11 overs left. We got plenty of, t I might just leave it, just not to screw around. Hope, if he gets there naturally, great. If not, he gets not out and that's, you know, Worst case scenario. I mean, worst case scenario, he gets out for the 99 or something. Um, but we'll just wait and see. 230 for three. Another good sweep shot. That's gone for four. That's good tea. Earl Grey by Twinings. Really good. Not sponsored, but <laughs> if they if they want to sponsor me, I'll uh, I'll take it. Just boundaries, boundaries galore. 11 runs to win. 200 runs is what the partnership is worth at the moment. At least 200. 214. Riyad Lahi's on 99. Now I'm going to strike hog with him. 98. Is that the 100? He's got it. Congratulations to him. Both batsmen made 100. Both of the brothers made 100s. And there we go, that's the victory. So, a not out partnership of 221. That's not bad, not bad at all. And that's game, Wasim Alahi gets the uh, man of the match award. We'll go around the grounds now. Um, Balochistan won by 17 runs with... So Hale getting 128 not out and Shah, who as I've said many times before, is my nemesis, gets 158. Seems to always score runs in this game. And then Kyber chased down Sin's score of 307, winning by three wickets with Ahmed getting uh, man of the match for his 54. Did he take some wickets as well? He took two for 81, so a little bit expensive. And then South Africa get absolutely demolished by Australia. They lose by 152 runs. Travis Head gets player of the match there. Uh, we continue our golden run with the winning streak. Who have we got next? We've got Baluchistan. Um, I will leave that for next episode, obviously, because we're only we've run out of time. But that's okay. More content will come out today, not just this video. Um, thank you very much for watching this video up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if you wish to join my Discord, there's a link to that below in the description. And I will catch up with you next time for some more Cricket Captain The Completionist series. See you guys then.